Back on TYT Sports, a segment that went pretty viral from actually Colin Coward's show was in discussion about how Vegas does not believe the Dallas Cowboys are as good as you believe the Dallas Cowboys Damn. are. Uh, now I have a very, very unbiased, super uh, objective point of view when it totally. comes to the organization known as America's team. He's totally unbiased. You know, objective journalism is not actually a real thing. By the way, on a very random note, Hunter S. Thompson used to talk about this. I think there's some hope for it. Regardless, subjectively speaking, Vegas makes their rankings. Mm -hmm. And they put together their over under win totals for the season. And if you are a uh, New England Patriots fan, you are always very happy because it's always double digits. Regardless, <laughs> uh, the number one standout to this is how the Dallas Cowboys of all teams who won the NFC East last year, who didn't lose a game, it seemed like, under Dak Prescott, have Ezekiel Elliott, an offensive line that is stronger than the wall that guards the wildlings from coming over <laughs> from the north. Um, nine and a half wins. And if you go under, you can make money. So what does this mean? If you watch Coward, who's a good source for in terms of gambling in the NFL, because he worked in Vegas for a long, long time, uh -huh. uh, Vegas wants to make money. And they... They think that a lot of people are going to bet the over. Now, they think the Dallas Cowboys are only one win better than the New York Giants, I believe. They think they are only one win better than the Washington, uh, two wins better than the Washington Redskins, and only half a win better. I'm sorry, a win and a half better than the Philadelphia Eagles. I mean, the most startling part is that they think they're three and a half win, three wins at least, better than the Los Angeles Rams. This is the big story of the day. The Rams. Over should under I is say, it six? It should be at eleven. The Rams. It should say fifteen and a half, so they can go sixteen and <laughs> zero and win. I can't wait for Week One when the Rams are one and zero because they usually go one and zero, right? <laughs> Not lately. Not lately. I feel like on Turkey. Well, if they play we someone like the Seahawks, who they for some reason uh, overperform against, that's um, true. They always have the Seahawks number. They always win that 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 they barn win it or six they lose to three. barely. Yeah. Six to three. Totally. Twelve nine. Yeah. Ten eleven. Yeah. Uh, so what factors? Why? This why is what happens. Cowboys what factors are coming with this? And then, as you just mentioned, I think right before we started this, mm -hmm. there is this thought process that there is a um, a sophomore year slump. I mean, for uh, for Dak Prescott, who came in and just lit the 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 league on fire when no one expected it. Uh, Ezekiel Elliott. I mean, the one-two punch, as you talked about, that great wall of an offensive line. What could possibly go wrong here? Can I tell you? Injuries. That, of course, but how can you predict that? But that wasn't even it. That, definitely, that could go wrong. Um, but just, you fight, again, we talked about it in, in an NBA playoffs clip. These are professionals. These are professional coaches. These are professional defensive linemen, professional cornerbacks, and linebackers, uh, and safeties. So, <laughs> <laughs> don't forget safety. <laughs> what they'll do is figure a guy out, honestly. And so, the things that they saw him do all last year, he's gonna have to reinvent himself in a way in order to keep that from happening. Now, I don't know what insight Vegas may have as to what degree these two star players, again, I'm talking about Ezekiel and Dak, whether or not they've reinvented a way to do something different that people can't see coming. But if they don't, there's gonna be a lot more, a lot tougher uh, road to climb this year. And you're probably gonna say this, the, uh, the schedule doesn't really do much. Uh, yeah, they have, give them many favors. but at the same time, you know, I think that how many times do we see teams, good teams with murderous schedules perform well enough? Like, I think, I'd, this sounds insane, but I got to look at the numbers. I feel like teams with murderous schedules who make the playoffs and fare better in the playoffs than teams that just kind of waltz sure. into it, kind of walk into it and be like, oh, we got the Rams three times, which never has happened. We mm -hmm. beat them by a total score of... 12 to 9. Uh, <laughs> but I think that, I mean, so like the NFC East, it's any divisional game ever. The, so the NFC East this year plays the AFC West. Mm -hmm. They get the Broncos, they get the Raiders, they get Chiefs. the Chiefs, who are the who are the best regular season team of all time. And then and the, those new, the new Los Angeles team. Wait, the Rams are in? <laughs> That's where they are? They have to play with that team, those teams? <laughs> They're not going 16-0. <laughs> the new Los Angeles That's, team. The Chargers, the Chargers. I thought maybe you guys swapped. Yeah. No, the new Los Angeles team. We don't want the Chargers. Um, so here's what I think, if anybody cares. I think the Cowboys go 12 and four. Uh, you know what, and that's the thing. Yeah, I it's, think they're good. It's, and that's why I want to give those caveats that if they reinvent or figure another way, they can maybe still do it. 
Um, so what Jason is revealing to us that he's he's already put in his money for the over. I did. On these on on your Cowboys. And that's what Vegas wants you to do. But I just think that I, I first of all they always play on Thanksgiving and they always do well enough on Thanksgiving. I think that's a win. Like the Giants could implode. Brandon Marshall, Odell Beckham Jr. on the same. Like if they're together and they're in sync, oh man, are they going to be good? But if there's a week of Eli Manning and McAdoo throwing them under the bus. Yeah, Brandon Marshall and Odell Beckham partying on the boat again. <laughs> partying on the boat again these right are, before. These are small things. It just depends on what happens on the field. They're how professionals. Camp goes. They're professional boat drivers. They're professional caterers that were on that boat. They're and you've got the most calm man in the league in Eli. Calm? <laughs> Manning calm. the ship. Stay calm. See what I did there? Calm. Eli Manning, Manning the ship. Come Manning on. the ship. Who wins the Super Bowl besides the Rams? Now that I have you here. <laughs> oh, man. This is <sighs> that would be Tom Brady and his sixth ring, one for the for the new hand, Patriots. No, I think the Patriots are the team to bet the under. I think, I, I know, how do you right. bet against this team? How would this happen? Well, that how barn burner of a division there. And 12 you know, and a half wins. Guys, it's amazing that the, you look up and the Dolphins are the second best team in the division. Hey, Jay, a Jai Gi. They fly under the radar of the year. Props I, I, to Dolphins. Ajayi? Ajayi, I think. Yeah. They fly under the radar of your ear, but I mean, let's keep it real. They, I mean, and also last year, who was it? They, they played They played the NFC West. Mm -hmm. That was their off uh, division. They played. Yeah, the, the Patriots beat the Seahawks. No. The Seahawks beat the Patriots. I don't somehow know. Somehow the Seahawks beat the hell out of the Rams. So it's um, it's just how it works. Jared's excited for this year. I'm excited for this year. Uh, both our teams combined <laughs> for 16-0. <laughs> Undefeated win the Super Bowl. That's, that's how you go undefeated. Combine our wins. I like it. Comment below. Do you think the Cowboys are not who we thought they were? My voice cracked. And why? <laughs> and why? What could go wrong? What could go wrong?